Hi, I'm Matt Cole. Welcome to The Hub Show. In this video, we're going deep on rubber, taking a look at some new Maxxis tyres, plus looking at the questions you've been answering over on our community tab, as well as sharing some cool pictures you've been uploading to social media. Let's get stuck in. With me this week, I've got a Maxxis Minion and a Maxxis High Roller tyre because they make up a Maxxis mountain bike tyre roundup that we're putting together for our YouTube channel. So make sure you subscribe so you don't miss out on that when it goes live. And what I want you to do is let me know in the comment section below what is your go-to tyre brand. These are probably two of the big favourites out of the Maxxis range. I want you to let me know what you run, if you run Maxxis tyres, if not, what brand is your go-to. Okay, this is the part of the video where we take a look at the questions you've been answering over on our community tab, starting with this one. For mountain bike tyres, what is more important to you? And the options were grip, rolling speed, other. Comment and let us know. And, oh, the results are in and it's a resounding, a resounding win for grip. 87% of you said grip. 11% rolling speed, 2% other. Let's see what you said. David Souza says, a good balance between both, but grip is a bit more important. Tom88 says, other, front tyre grip, back tyre speed, high roller two and Ardent. There you go, we got a Maxxis fan on, on, the, on the case. Tom Wright says, it has to be grip. When your face doesn't end up in the mud, you'll be glad you made that decision. And to finish this one off, Logan Bingham looks like he's embarrassed himself. He says, grip 100%. I was riding through town today and slipped on a turn in front of a bunch of people. How embarrassing. I hope you're all right, Logan. On to the next one. And the question was, when is the last time you got a flat? The options were, in the past week, this month, last year. It's been that long, I can't remember, and I've never gotten a flat. This is interesting. So in the past week, 7%. 9% of you have had a puncture in the last month, 43% last year, 30%, it's that long, I can't even remember, and 10% of you, seriously, have never gotten a flat. So the last time I got a flat, that was last year, came off a big rock drop, sealant everywhere, but I was like some sort of trailside bear grills with all my kit. Fixed it, and I was up and running fine. Did dent the rim a little bit though, so not all good. Let's see what you've been saying. Brody says, if you've never had a flat, then you need to ride harder. Agreed, Brody. James Jenkins says, I got them all the time until switching to tubeless. After that, I've had like three punctures in three years, all of which were slow due to the sealant partially clogging the wound. Yes, James. Paramedic Barber says, I voted that I'd never have gotten a flat, then went out on my trails today, and guess what? First ever flat. Tuck yourself up there. Trail Pimp says, when you use plenty of sealant and tire inserts with tough casing tires, it's pretty hard to get a flat. Great tip there, Trail Pimp. And to round this one out, Lost Trail says, last year, I burped hard on a turn I crashed on. Front tire lost almost all its sealant, but had just enough to get to hold air for the ride home. Thank goodness for that, Lost Trail. Cheers for sharing that one. And on to the last question, which was, do you own a tubeless tyre repair kit? That's predicated on the fact that you run tubeless tyres, which we know a lot of people don't. Yes, I do. 35% of you. 61% says, no, I don't. 4%, I didn't even know they were a thing. I own a tubeless tyre repair kit. One of the new proof ones. It's got the little screwy out bit, and then you get the needle, and then you get the slug thing. You just shove in the tyre and then hope that it all seals, that all the sealant hasn't gone everywhere. Theo Jones says, once I put a CO2, ca oh, CO2 canister, oh, I've had a laugh with one of them. Make sure when you do your CO2 that you don't just spray it into the air, make sure you get the valve thing on the tire first and then you, it goes into the tire rather than the air because it doesn't work just in the air. Theo Jones says, once I put a CO2 canister into a tire with sealant that is not safe with CO2, the sealant just dried up. Jamie MTB says, I have tubeless, but no tubeless repair kit. Use my last kit. Need a new tubeless repair kit? Get onto it, Jamie. Come on. Luke Rissa says, I have a tube strapped to the underside of my saddle. Old school. 
Timo Celesto says, I really should buy one just in case. You really should, Timo. Maybe living on the edge is not too wise in the long run. It's not. I've tried that myself and you end up shafting yourself. And Martin says, always on me along with CO2 cartridge and pump. Yes, Martin. This is the part of the video where we take a look at some of the cool pictures you've been uploading to social media using the hashtag chain reaction cycles and hashtag CRC hub. All right, let's get stuck in. I recognize this bike. Joe Greaves says, no new videos yet, just a few steady miles today and first ride for my brother on his new Merida. But Joe has been riding this hardcore hardtail, pimp looking NS eccentric bike that we built in our underdog hardtail build last year. What a bike, it's looking awesome, Joe. Glad you're enjoying it. Now, I wonder, should we do another underdog build this year? Mm, let us know down in the comments section below. On to the next one, MTB Baker. She says, his and hers bikes, they're out in Swinley Forest having a great ride, just chilling out there in the forest. Love that one. Thanks for sharing that, MTB Baker. And the next one, Lee Martin in Garva Forest. Lee says, shakedown done. A few things to sort before the next run out. Love it already, though. Loving that. I think that's a Vitas Mythique chilling out in Garva. Garva's a top spot for riding. Cheers for sharing that one, Lee. The final one. Look at the colors on this. This is Roberto's Ragley. He's been doing some, some color light painting, some sort of cool light painting there. We love that, Roberto. Thanks for sharing that one with us. There you go, that's another episode of The Hub Show. Thank you, as ever, for getting involved. If you want to answer any questions from today's show, click the link in the description. And to get involved in next week's show, hit the community tab on this channel. Have a great weekend, take it easy. I am so good at that when I'm fully relaxed. Thank God you said that. <laughs> That's the good thing about sitting. I don't have to go move to the left, move to the right. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, exactly. Which is what you should have been doing whenever you were at the other place. <laughs> <laughs>